So in this video, I'd like to talk about why primary productivity is important. So we have photosynthesis. So I'm drawing some grass down here. And basically that process of photosynthesis creates the biomass. So you have carbon dioxide plus uh, protons and electrons going to organic matter. Right. And then this organic matter is what makes the biomass. Right. And then a lot of other organisms eat and decay that biomass by basically uh, taking oxygen and reacting it uh, with that biomass to go back to getting the carbon dioxide. All right, so for energy, organisms that eat biomass react some of it with oxygen, but they also take some of the organic matter and they use it in their own bodies or their own biomass. Okay, so we have the primary productivity that creates this first biomass and it's getting consumed in this case uh, by a cow. Some of the grass that the cow consumes reacts with the oxygen um, to create carbon dioxide and water uh, plus energy. And some of that organic matter goes into the biomass of the cow. So the, the proportion of these two uh, varies a little bit, but on average, 90% of what uh, an animal eats goes into producing the energy for it to live, and only 10% goes into uh, the biomass of creating the cow. So over time, for the cow to grow, it has to eat about um, 10 times the amount of food as it weighs. So it's a really significant amount of energy or biomass is lost uh, when you go from your photosynthesizers into your uh, grazers here. So there's a lot of, of loss of biomass in this process. And that means that you have to have about 10 times more photosynthesis creating biomass than you have accumulation at the next uh, trophic level. And then, so for example, I should say trophic level is the number of times something gets eaten and converted into another organism. So let's say that um, a person here, me, I'm eating my ice cream cone made from this cow's milk here, right? And it has, of course, sugar from plants. So some of that is coming from uh, uh, plant biomass to go into the, the, the ice cream. And then we also have to have our, our chickens here that laid an egg that, that goes into my ice cream cone as well. In each case, I only gain enough biomass of 10% of each of these goes into biomass and that other 90% gets consumed as energy. So in this particular case, uh, it's if most of it came from the milk, it would be you, you lose 10% or you only keep 10%, you lose 90%, you lose 90%. At each level on the food chain, a large proportion is lost. So to, to have very much biomass, 
in an ecosystem, it requires much more primary productivity um, than the actual mass that you would measure because a lot of it gets consumed um, as this energy that actually maintains organisms alive, right? And the other thing, so it really needs lots of primary productivity. And the second thing is that the more times things are eaten, and also the more um, trophic levels, and uh, trophic levels are the um, number of times things are consumed. So the number of times you go from grass to cows to people, things like that, the more trophic levels uh, requires more primary productivity. Right. So there's this whole process of, of loss uh, through the consumption of, of food at each level. But when, so that, what that means is that the more primary productivity you have at the bottom of the food web, the more biomass can actually be, be maintained in an ecosystem. 